My mom asked me a question, Claudia, what do I do with QR codes? What are the QR codes? What, what's happening here? Let's talk about it. Hi mom, hi everyone, Claudia here, and today let's talk about QR codes, how to scan QR code and what QR codes are. First, let's start with simple how to scan a QR code. On your iPhone, open the built-in camera app. Next step, point the camera app on your QR code, but don't take a picture. And last step is just tap on the box that appeared in the upper uh, part of your screen. So just scan it, you will see a box, tap on it, and that's it. You just open whatever it was there. In my case, like on this QR code, it's just a QR code with embedded link to my Instagram profile. So now you know how to scan a QR code. Hold on, hold on. There's one more thing you have to remember before we check another way how to scan a QR code. On your phone, go to settings, scroll through all those different settings that you have on your phone till you find camera. And then make sure that scan QR codes is on. And now let's talk about another way how to scan QR code. On your iPhone, go to Control Center and select QR code scan icon. All you have to do now, just tap it and point the camera on a QR code. That's it. Look, it's working. The question is what are the QR codes and what are we using them for? So think about QR codes as a type of a barcode, but just on steroids, even better. With the QR codes, it's so much easier to, well, for us regular folks, to generate them and add whatever information you want to add to them. So somebody else who is going to scan them will uh, have access to that information. So now the question is, what can we add, or as uh, customers, what can we find out by scanning QR code? And this is really amazing. If you were lucky enough to go to the restaurant and sit down and order something from the menu, you probably noticed at some restaurants that the menu was not available in a paper copy. How did you get access to the menu? Via QR code. The QR code was on a piece of paper on a table. You just grab your phone, scan it, and you were able to have the link to a website, to that restaurant's website, with the menu. Also, if you go to the store, you might find uh, several products that when you turn around the package, on the back of the package um, of whatever item you want to purchase, not only you can find a barcode, but also you can find a QR code. And that QR code might get you to the company's website or maybe Facebook page or maybe Instagram profile or whatever they want you to go. You can use QR codes to share your contact details. So instead, your friend typing your phone number, your email address, you can share that in the QR code and just show them the QR code. They will scan it and they will get the access to that information. You can also have a QR code and link to it, for example, a document on a website. You have some documents or maybe on the Google Drive or somewhere else or on your website, you have documents, files that you would like to share with others. As long as you have the link to that specific location on the, web on the website, you can add that link to a QR code. So next time you don't have to give your friends or family members the long link that they have to write down or copy and paste. All they have to do is just scan that QR code. QR codes can be also used for directions. You want to share some directions with somebody else or a company would like to make it a little bit easier for you to get to their location. They can utilize QR code with embedded direction to specific location. You just scan the QR code and you will have access to the map and the directions how to get to specific place. As you can see, QR code you can add to almost everything from contacts to email addresses to uh, some text or maybe directions, links to websites, links to social media profiles, um, many, many different things. Also, using the QR code, now you know, it's very, very simple.
How about you? Have you noticed interesting QR codes? Do you find QR codes useful or maybe not so much? That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, stay safe, stay groovy. See you next time.